Anybody who's in the room? Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our August 9th, 2022 Borough Council meeting. Tonight, we're conducting our monthly Borough Council meeting, both in person and virtually. We're glad that you've joined us here tonight. During the public participation portions and public hearing portions of tonight's agenda, community members joining us via Zoom may raise their hand virtually, and our staff will unmute your microphone and announce your name, and we will then be called on to speak. Uh, we will have, we'll start with members of the public who are here uh, in council chambers with us tonight and then jo those joining us remotely. We have two public comment periods tonight, one towards the beginning, one towards the end. We do ask public participation is limited to once per session. Uh, thank you again for joining us tonight, and we will start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I And Mr. Crack with our roll call. Ms. Berkeley. Present. Mr. Carmenito. Present. Ms. Dugan. Here. Ms. Kirkner. Here. Mr. Moore. Here. Ms. Webb. Present. Mr. Weiss. Present. Mr. Ewald. Here. Mr. Ursler. Here. Manager. Uh, so I don't see the assistant uh, chiefs here, solicitors here. You have a quorum. Thank you very much. Um, Ms. Dugan is excused absent tonight. Um, with that, Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion that council recesses to executive session for matters of personnel. Motion. Second. We have a motion by Ms. Berkeley, second by Mr. Weiss. Questions on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 7-0. We will uh, recess into executive session for a brief moment. It is 7.05, we are now returning from executive session uh, where we discussed personnel. 
Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion that council appoints uh, Quinn Galger to the uh, role of patrol officer. Second. Motion by Ms. Berkeley, second by Ms. Webb. Questions on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 7-0. Mr. Mayor, would you like to take over? Uh, yes, thank you so much, uh, Mr. President, and thank you so much to our borough council uh, for the appointment of uh, Quinn uh, Gauger this evening. Uh, he will be our 31st uh, police officer, and we are now back at full strength. And so we certainly appreciate um, all of your commitment to our department um, and to certainly the safety of our residents. I'll now turn it over to uh, our chief of police, uh, Brian Marshall, who will read Quinn's bio. And I would ask that Quinn and um, his family, who will be uh, swearing him in would meet me in the center and we will begin the ceremony. Mr. Gauger, can you step forward, please be sworn in by Mayor Urschler. Uh Quinn was originally from Pottstown area. He grew up in Amity Township and then two, he's a 2009 graduate of Daniel Boone High School. Quinn received his bachelor's degree in criminal justice from Walden University. He was previously employed as a correctional officer at George W. Hill Correctional Facility in Delaware County. He served as a SEPTA transit police officer in the city of Philadelphia for three years, and most recently as an upper Potts Grove Township police officer for four years. His hobbies include working out, he's in good shape, he likes to run, and he's a fan of hopefully the Eagles professional football team. Tonight he's keeping his sworn in with his mother's holding a Bible and family and friends. Uh, Queen, if you would place your uh, left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand. And repeat after me. I, Quinn T. Gauger. I, Quinn T. Gauger. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support. That I will support. Obey. Obey. And defend. And defend. The Constitution. The Constitution. Of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. The Constitution. The Constitution. Of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. The laws of Pennsylvania. The laws of Pennsylvania. And the borough of Phoenixville. And the borough of Phoenixville. I will. I will with fidelity with fidelity discharge the duties of discharge the duties of the office as a police officer the office as a police officer within the borough of Phoenixville within the borough of Phoenixville police department police department Chester County Chester County Pennsylvania Pennsylvania I will uphold I will uphold obey obey and enforce and enforce the law the law without consideration without consideration of a person's race of a person's race color color sex Sex, religious creed, religious creed, sexual orientation, sexual orientation, age, age, national origin, national origin, ancestry, ancestry, handicap, handicap, or disability, or disability. Congratulations, Officer Gowdy. Thank you. Anybody interested in taking photos with our new officer in our police department, uh, please welcome, you're welcome to uh, step into the hallway. And thank you for joining us tonight. Okay, that concludes presentations for tonight's agenda. We will now open the first round of public participation. Uh, for any folks who are jo joining us in person tonight, if you wanna step forward to the podium, uh, sign in on the registration sheet and uh, state your name. Okay, and any members of the public who are joining us remotely via Zoom, if you'd like to raise your hand digitally, we'll have a member of staff uh, unmute you and allow you to uh, uh, present to council.
Seeing no uh, action at the moment from either the public or the Zoom, we will now close the first round of public participation. With that, that brings us to our consent agenda. What is council's pleasure for item five? Uh, I'd like to make a motion to uh, accept the consent agenda uh, for this evening. Second. Any items that any members of council wish to, Mr. Kirkner? Yes, Mr. President, may I ask that we uh, split the questions um, into items A and B since I would vote to abstain on A and vote the affirmative on B. I uh, did not attend the July meeting. I will we'll pull the minutes out. That's the easiest way to do that. Okay. Yep. There's no other issues beyond A? No. Okay, very good. So we, we will pull uh, item A out of the consent agenda. Uh, with that, any other questions on the consent agenda? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 7-0. Uh, let's see. We can do minutes now, right? So with that, we'll need a motion to approve the July minutes. So moved. Second. Questions on the motion? Amendments, corrections? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion Abstain. carries 601. Okay. That brings us to communications and council participation. Any, um, any updates from any council members uh, this last month? I'll kick it off then. Uh, so next Saturday, we have a very big day. Um, that I can't stress how uh, exciting this day is for the municipality and the region in general. So I would just ask any members of the public, um, you know, this is our formal invitation to join us next Saturday, August 20th at 1 p.m. Uh, for the formal housing ceremony, ribbon cutting and open house tours of our brand new Phoenixville Fire Department Station number 65, located at 150 Paradise Street. Uh, this station, which will now house our fire, EMS, and all other emergency operations, uh, is the culmination of immense planning, foresight, and effort by countless individuals, staff, current, and formal, former council members, um, and the volunteer members of Phoenix Hose Hook and Ladder Company Number 1. Um, as some of you know, I prior to joining council, I was an active firefighter and engineer with Phoenix Hose Hook and Ladder. Uh, so starting on council seven years ago, this is literally one of the two goals I had was a new fire station and a paid administrator of some sort, uh, in which case it turned out to be a paid chief. Um, so building the station um, was a big deal for me and I'm really excited to see it open up next weekend. Uh, this is gonna serve the community and our region for, for the, well over the next generation. Uh, so from that perspective, it's been a good year. I'm really excited. Please join us next Saturday, August 20th, 1 p.m and that is 150 Paradise Street. There's a lot of information on both the Phoenix Hose Hook and Ladder website and uh, the borough website for any details. Any other council updates or information tonight? So um, we, you and I did attend uh, Town Watch this month. We were able to connect as well as the police department with that group um, and really give a lot of good information about what the borough is doing, a lot of good updates. I'm gonna address some concerns um, related to their, you know, things that they brought up. Um, and that's something that we will continue to do on a regular basis as able. If any other council member wants to join, I'd be happy um, to go with um, for the first one. I know that we always send a representative from the police. Um, I've also been hearing, and I know Mr. Ewald has, many of you probably have, but we tend to hear it the most because it's our ward, a lot of positive feedback about the closure and some constructive. So we are continuing to gather that we do have the survey um, that we've put out as promised. So just kind of wanted to touch on that and give some updates on that. I know we had extended the survey, but I think at this point we are closed, correct? Yeah, but we did extend it to make sure everybody had the opportunity to do so. Thank you, Ms. Berkeley. Any other council updates? Okay. Seeing none, we'll move on to the mayor's report. Good timing. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank you all so much for being here today. And to those of you who are joining us uh, virtually and in person here, um, I just uh, want to personally thank everyone who came out and certainly thank our entire police department for the incredible work that they did uh, during our national night out, which was the first Tuesday in August. Uh, we also would like to thank our friends at Town Watch uh, for all of their help to coordinate that event and all of the first responders and organizations that came out and supported that. Uh, that is a yearly event. And so you will see it coming up again uh, next year in 2023 in August. And other than that, I would definitely encourage you, we have so many events and wonderful programs coming up. I would definitely encourage you to be watching the borough's Facebook page, as well as our website um, to ensure that you're not missing any of the exciting uh, programming that we have. And with that, I've taken up a lot of your time tonight, so I'm going to give it back to you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you Mayor. Uh, I, there are no items under appointments tonight. Um, we do, uh, as always, we have our monthly call out to any residents uh, who are interested in being appointed to various boards and commissions. Uh, feel, please free, feel free to reach out to your council member or staff about any upcoming openings on any boards, committees, or commissions. And with that, that brings us to, uh, we don't have any new business under item nine, um, under for item 10, uh, ordinances and resolutions. We do have two items that are up and ready for adoption tonight, if council so pleases. Mr. President, I'll make a motion that we adopt an ordinance amendment to chapter 15, uh, motor vehicles and traffic, part seven regarding metered parking lots. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Kirkner, second by Ms. Berkeley. Questions on the motion? And we're all duly advertised and prepared to adopt tonight. We are. Okay. Um, and as you may know, uh, part of this is to uh, amend our parking uh, to allow for kiosk and uh, especially because we expect a new parking lot uh, to go online just across the river here okay, okay. any other questions yeah uh, just to yes. one understanding what's the schedule when that lot will come come into play do we know Prior to Memorial Day, just to know which year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christmas is coming. Tongue in cheek uh, uh, and all kidding aside, uh, it looks like if they stand the lights up tomorrow or Thursday um, and Pico energizes, we arguably could be open as early as Friday night. I'm betting it'll be next week. Thank you. Seeing no other questions, all those in favor? I opposed motion carries seven zero. And item B, what is council's pleasure? Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to adopt an ordinance amendment to repeal chapter three bicycle. Second. A motion by Ms. Webb, second by Ms. Berkeley. Questions on the motion repealing chapter three. In chapter we have not used in 30 years. Okay, seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries seven zero. Uh, I'm not aware of any public hearings on tonight's agenda. Okay, moving on to reports of committees, boards, and commissions. Mr. Moore with Planning Commission. Uh, yes, we um, originally had uh, and published uh, two projects for consideration by the Planning Commission. Um, one project is uh, withdrawn at the request of the developer and will be considered at a subsequent date. So I would like to make a motion uh, to adopt a resolution approving officially approving the preliminary final subdivision and land development plan for the development known as Evergreen Lane as recommended by the Planning Commission uh, in their action memo of July 20th, 2022. Uh, vote was seven, nothing. Second. Motion by Ms. Moore, Mr. Moore, uh, second by Ms. Berkeley. Questions on the motion or any questions about the um, Evergreen Lane development? Mr. Kirkner. Mr. President, yes. yes, I have one question with regard to the Chester County Planning Commission's re first review of this. It said one of their uh, primary issues was that the plan should explain how the proposed lots and units will be owned and or operated if they are to be rental properties. I don't know if that can be made part of um, an approval under Saldo, but it does note that details should be included, not must be included or shall be included, but should be included in plan notes. And I don't know, I guess, I guess my question is, are they included in the plan notes or is that beyond the scope of Saldo? 
it, for this project, I believe it's beyond the scope of Saldo, uh, where that would maybe come into effect for Saldo is if you had a stormwater management facility that straddled a lot line um, or, or something to that effect. This plan does not have that. Each of the stormwater management facilities are on each individual lot. Um, so we would be um, probably operating outside of the bounds of the Saldo to require any uh, further commitment as far as ownership or leasing. Thank you. Uh, I will just add that this development does um, comply with the uh, updated ordinance from December uh, for the infill where the um, it's, a, it's a multifamily development, but there is a one building on that block that has two units on it. So. Uh, most of the rest of the block is is single family homes, but it does comply. So that was investigated. And the the waivers requested were nothing uh, insurmountable. It did not look so. Any other questions or concerns regarding this? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed. Motion carries seven zero. And Mr. Moore. That's all I have for um, for planning commission. And uh, thank you for the reminder. Um, and the the planning commission because it doesn't have any business in front of it will not the, the previously scheduled meeting for this week is canceled. The Great. next one will be in in September. Okay. Thank you. Uh, with that, Mr. Kirkner. Uh, well, I, I don't believe there's anything with, on Harb tonight. That's correct. There was no hard meeting, so there's nothing to report for hard either. Very good. So we'll move on to regional planning committee with Mr. Kirkner. Thank you, Mr. President. Not much to report out of regional planning, but there the regional planning committee did vote on one consistency review letter regarding the kindergarten center, uh, making a statement that before the property is transferred by the school district, that it. Um, it, the easement for the, I believe it's the Schuylkill Valley Trail, it's called, or the Schuylkill Freedom Trail, I don't know. Schuylkill Freedom Valley Trail. So I got it wrong twice, but almost right once. Um, the statement that it should include the easements um, for that trail before the property is transferred. And that's that's it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Kirker. Uh, Ms. Dugan was not able to join us tonight, uh, but Rec Board, any of the programs that are coming up uh, through our Recreation Department is available on our borough website. Uh, with that, we'll move on to uh, BAC with Ms. Webb. Uh, there was no meeting in August. The next one scheduled for September 12th at 7 p.m. Great. Thank you. Ms. Berkeley with Tree Advisory. Tree Advisory Commission did meet last night. Um, we still have one vacancy. So if anybody in the public is interested or if anyone here on council knows of someone that would be um, interested in a candidate, that would be highly encouraged. We would welcome that. And our next meeting is on the 12th at 6 p.m. Thank you. We'll move on to section 13 of our agenda tonight. Uh, council action referred to from council committees that was not uh, bundled into the Consent agenda, uh, we'll go back to Ms. Berkeley with police personnel and public safety. Again, no action to report, but just wanna echo um, all the great things that you had to say and the excitement um, for the opening of the new fire department and the, the all the things that we've done to make it forward to next Saturday. Um, we're all very for, excited for it and it's been great um, to be part of it. I would just add if, if any new residents who are living in the Steel Point development, uh, just bear with us next weekend. There'll be a lot of vehicles in and out that uh, it, it won't last all day, but uh, bear with us as, as neighbors as, uh, to our new, new fire station here. Uh, Mr. Moore with Parks and Recreation Committee. Uh, thank you. We had a number of events what, that have already been developed, um, addressed with the um, consent agenda. Uh, there is, however, um, a, uh, an additional temporary community event application that came in after a committee meeting. So I'd like to make a motion to recommend Borough Council approve a temporary community event application for the 40th anniversary Andre Thornton Day in Andre Thornton Park on Saturday, September 17th, 2022, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. North Main Street would be closed between Vanderslice Street 
and high street from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. conditioned upon receipt of a valid certificate of insurance. Um, this is the 40th anniversary of this event. Um, I do know that uh, Andre Thornton's sister, Teresa Thornton, is was supposed to be signed into the uh, Zoom. If we do, uh, if any, if you, I'd like to invite her to just kind of brief because we do have some uh, council members who are a little bit newer to the borough, maybe, and to council, maybe she could just explain what the event, why why we hold the event, and um, just a little bit of a background on it. If we can just get I'll a second, second on, thank yeah, you. I'll there second the go. motion before we go into discussion. Well, so we have a motion by Mr. Moore, second by Ms. Berkeley. We'll uh, now begin discussion. So we uh, see if Ms. Teresa, I turned on your microphone. Okay, thank you. Um, can I'm assuming everyone can hear me now. Can you? Yep. Yes, we yes, can. Yes, we can. Wonderful. So I'm Teresa Thornton. I'm president of Blacklight Projects. And we started re-celebrating Andre Thornton Day just about five years ago um, in Andre Thornton Park to honor the legacies of African-American folks who came through Phoenixville. Andre, as most of you know, was the first African-American to make it to the major leagues in baseball with a sustained career um, for 17 plus years. Um, and the city decided to name a day after him as well as the park at 55 North Main Street. So we're just trying to continue to honor the legacy of African Americans within Phoenixville and all that they have done for the community. Did anyone have any questions about anything? Not at the moment. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Okay. I just had some logistical questions. Sure. Obviously, like this is a great event. I would certainly support it and I'm going to vote in favor of it. And I'm sure we've thought about all this, but there's going to be a lot going on that day as far as the downtown closure, then this closure. And then is is that also Wolf Jam that day? So again, different part of the town, but like lots of different things going on. So just making sure we're, I'm sure we've already planned all this out, but I just felt like in good conscience when people come to me and say, did you know all these streets are closed? I can say, yep, I know. And this is what we're doing. Just wanted to kind of point that out. Yeah, that, uh, after the application was received, that you know that was discussed uh, by staff, uh, public works, and police for how to uh, detour. Thankfully, with um, High Street, we can shoot people right to the, the Gay Street Bridge, and um, I think I think we'll be able to, to mitigate it. It's um, it's only a part of the day to begin with, so. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to be busy, but busy in town is good. Definitely not a bad thing. Just yeah. Any other questions on on this motion? Okay, seeing none. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 7-0. Um, nothing further to report from um, Parks and Recreation. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Moore. We'll move on to Policy Committee with Mr. Kirkner. Thank you, Mr. President. We have uh, three items coming from Policy Committee requiring votes to uh, schedule public hearings for ordinance. First item is an ordinance to amend chapter 15 of motor vehicles um, regarding stop signs. And as I'm reading in my packet, this is for Paradise Street um, near the new firehouse. Second. Motion by Mr. Kirkner, second by Ms. Berkeley to schedule and advertise a new ordinance. Questions on the motion, questions on the ordinance. Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries 7-0. Mr. Kirkner. Yeah. Yes, Mr. President. And the, the next item is to schedule and advertise a public hearing to consider an ordinance amendment to Chapter 27, the zoning ordinance regarding re adaptive reuse. Second. Motion by Mr. Kirkner, second by Mr. Weiss. Questions on this motion? This ordinance amendment. Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 7 0. You, th you think I'm new here. <laughs> uh, finally, I make a motion to schedule and advertise an ordinance approving an appointment of solicitor interest assessment and attorney fees for collection fees. Um, re, well, this is regarding our collections solicitor. Okay. 
Motion by Mr. Kirchner, second by Ms. Berkeley. Uh, this is the Portnoff, uh, who, who's actually done a very good job on, on collections over the last uh, eight years or so, uh, bringing us back into to pretty good standing with our delinquent accounts. So uh, I think we've reappoint this every couple of years. So this is, yeah. Any questions on this motion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries seven zero. Mr. Kirchner. No other action to report from the policy committee. Fantastic. Mr. Weiss with infra, uh, infrastructure technology, transportation and sustainability. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, no action to report at this time. Uh, lots going on, but um, no, nothing to point out at this point. Um, our next meeting is next Tuesday on the 16th at 7 p.m. Thank you, Mr. Weiss. Uh, Ms. Dugan was not here tonight, but uh, all the items that came out of finance were in our collective uh, consent agenda and nothing else to report out on the finance. I believe next month we will start the uh, annual fund of the budget process. Um, with that, we will open the, up the second and final round of public participation tonight. So any members of the public that are joining us here in public, in person, in council chambers, uh, please make your way to the podium and we will uh, you know, sign in and state your name. Any members of the public who are joining us via Zoom, if you wanna raise your hand digitally, we will have a member of staff uh, unmute you and announce your name, uh, allowing you to, to then to then address council. Uh, so any members of the public, either in person or digitally, if you wanna raise your hand. Okay, with that, uh, we will close the second and final round of public participation. Our, and with that, we will have our... Oh. Uh, we have communications council participation as a second round. I don't believe there's anything much to uh, follow up on and staff I mean, report. I can always talk. I love talking. <laughs> Mr. Crack. Uh, Under the managers, I just want to uh, uh, announce that today um, we sold uh, 123 Main Street. Uh, that deal uh, uh, went down at 930 this morning. Uh, so we've received the funds. Uh, so that property has transferred. Later in the afternoon, uh, we processed everything that we needed to move the former streets building, uh, 115 Buchanan, uh, over to Chester County Economic Development Council, which is the 501 uh, nonprofit that will take it under its wings and then transition that over to the Hankin uh, group, which will probably start their construction sometime in September. I expect to uh, see a ribbon cutting announcement sometime in early September, so we'll keep an eye out uh, for that. Uh, and then on the uh, aforementioned topic of ribbon cutting, uh, Mr. Ewald mentioned all of the things that are going on uh, on Saturday the 20th. Uh, uh, for clarity purposes, what is going to happen is all of the participants and the invitees will go to 150 Paradise Street, except for the fire station personnel. Uh, they will uh, gather up uh, at the fire station apparatus and members of the fire companies uh, of Phoenixville. They will leave there, go down uh, Main Street, uh, over across Smith Works Boulevard, be right past this building and around. And then uh, the idea is to have uh, the, the, uh, the ladders with the flag over the bridge, they'll cross over the bridge to all of us that will be on the other side of that. And then the ceremonies uh, that afternoon. So uh, I think they're intending to leave at about one o'clock from there, uh, estimate about 30 minutes for the, depending on the weather, um, and weather is still a big uh, topic here. If it's really hot, it will probably shorten that, uh, but that's the intent. Um, it's a rain or shine event. Uh, the place, if you have not been there, is large enough to handle us all, uh, and so we're looking for a, a grand event that, that day. So uh, just want to kind of put the, the logistics of, uh, of getting there. Uh, um, It'll be fun getting to the new station if you haven't been there uh, in a while. If you've been down that road before, uh, by the time you get there next week, we'll have it repaved and it'll be a little easier on your shock absorbers. No questions. So the bridge will be open. It will. The, I'll say it, it will. We're working on the, the agreement for that, but the bridge uh, will be open for emergency access vehicular access only pedestrians hard to stop them uh we really don't want to do that because the easement agreement 
until they top Smith Works Boulevard, we won't take dedication of that. So we want to keep it as an emergency access agreement. We all kind of know what will happen, but we'll put the signs up and we'll do all of that. That's why we're aforementioned uh, ordinance about the stop signs. We want to make sure we, we have that taken place. So we're going to mitigate it as much as we can, but we also realize people are people. There will not be barricades in the way. There we go. Very good. <laughs> Grubhub. <laughs> They keep going back there every day. Any other questions for the manager or on any of the items in the uh, department head packets? Uh, we have one of those rare nights where we don't need an executive session. Uh, so what is council's pleasure? Motion to adjourn. He doesn't have a, he doesn't, this yeah, isn't his, yeah. yeah. We have a motion by Ms. Berkeley, second by Mr. Kirkner. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you next month. Time to get another 30.